Do you currently live in the United States, United Kingdom, or Canada and considering a career in cybersecurity in 2024 or 2025? If you are, you're stepping into one of the fastest growing, most lucrative fields in the world right now. But here's the real question nobody might have asked you. Exactly how much can you make with your current skill levels and what can you do right now to increase those numbers? The great news is cybersecurity professionals are not just earning competitive salaries, they are outpacing roles in law, finance, and medicine in some markets. Can you imagine commanding a six-figure salary just a few years or even months into your career? That's what cybersecurity offers. By the end of this video, you will discover the cybersecurity salary trends for 2024 that could impact your career, whether you live in the US, UK, or Canada. We will be uncovering salary ranges, top paying roles, which regions are the most lucrative, and which specialized skills will help you command the biggest paychecks. You don't want to miss this if you are just starting out or even a seasoned professional looking to climb higher. This is the information you need to make smart career decisions in 2024 and beyond. It's my pleasure to have you guys back on the channel. I'm Tudu Dr. Michael, multiple six-figure cybersecurity expert and career coach. And this is going to be a good one. So don't forget to like this video, share and hit that subscribe button to get notified when I drop the next one. So, cybersecurity is no longer just a niche field. It's a booming industry that is critical to the survival of businesses in nearly every sector. With global cybercrime cost expected to reach $10.5 trillion annually by 2025, companies are investing heavily in protecting their data, networks, and customers. This remarkable demand for security means salaries are climbing and professionals with the right skills are in the driver's seat. And that's why today we'll explore what the salary landscape looks like in the US, UK, and Canada, three of the hottest markets for cybersecurity professionals. Let's kick things off with the United States, where cybersecurity professionals are seeing some of the highest salaries globally. According to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and other cybersecurity job reports, the average salary for a cybersecurity professional in the US in 2024 is approximately $135,000 per year, a significant increase from previous years. But the salary landscape is quite vast, meaning what you earn will depend largely on your role, expertise, and location. So let's break it down further. Cybersecurity analysts have seen an increase in salary due to the growing demand for their expertise in monitoring networks and implementing security measures. On average, these professionals are earning between ninety dollars to $110,000 per year. Because cyber threats continue to evolve, this role remains vital in maintaining an organization's security posture. How about penetration testers? They are commonly called pen testers, right? Commonly known as ethical hackers as well, they play an equally critical role by identifying vulnerabilities through simulated attacks. Their expertise places them in high demand with salaries ranging from $120,000 to $160,000 annually. And certifications like CEH or OSCP can boost earnings toward the higher end of this scale. And then, as cyber threats grow more complex, the role of security architects have become increasingly valuable. Tasked with designing secure systems and infrastructure, these professionals are now earning between $140,000 and $190,000 per year in the United States, ensuring that organizations are well protected against sophisticated attacks. At the top of the cybersecurity hierarchy are CISO, popularly known as Chief Information Security Officers, who manage entire security teams and strategies. In major cities such as San Francisco, New York, Washington, D.C., a CISO can earn between $200,000 and $500,000 annually, 
with total compensation often further elevated by bonuses and stock options. Even in smaller market or mid-sized companies, CISOs are compensated handsomely, earning between $170,000 and $300,000 annually. But like I said, all of this comes down to where you find yourself working, irrespective compared to most other career paths. Cybersecurity experts have it good with even more increased anticipated in the near future. This surge in salaries is driven by a massive talent gap. The US right now is currently facing over 700,000 unfilled cybersecurity positions, according to industry reports. Companies are scrambling to secure top talent, and they are willing to pay a premium to do so. The top paying cities in the US include San Francisco, where the average salary is around $145,000, followed closely by Austin, Texas, and Washington, DC, for roles like cloud security architects and AI driven cybersecurity specialists. One of the key drivers of higher salaries is the increasing reliance on cloud technologies, with companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft investing heavily in cloud infrastructure. Cloud security has become a top priority. Okay, Cloud security architects and engineers who are skilled in platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud are commanding salaries north of $180,000 in tech hubs across the country. For example, San Francisco and Seattle have seen a 20% increase in demand for cloud security roles, which has pushed salaries even higher across the pond. The United Kingdom now is also experiencing a surge in demand for cybersecurity professionals. Why? Driven in part by GDPR regulations and a series of high-profile breaches that are involving companies like British Airways and EasyJet. Cybersecurity salaries in the UK have risen sharply, with professionals now earning well above the national average, like their American counterparts. Cybersecurity analysts in the UK are also earning well. You can expect to earn between £45,000 to £65,000 annually, and that's a notable rise compared to previous years as the need for enhanced cybersecurity defenses grows. Companies across various sectors are investing heavily in security, reflecting this increase in salary. Penetration testers or pen testers also benefit from this heightened demand for security. Salaries for pen testers in the UK range from 55,000 to 80,000 pounds, with professionals in major hubs like London and Manchester earning higher due to the significant demand in these regions. Certifications and experience play a key role in determining pay as well, with more qualified pen testers commanding the upper end of this salary spectrum. Security architects are in even greater demand, earning between $70,000 and £120,000 across the UK, with London-based professionals typically earning more. As regulatory requirements like GDPR take center stage, these architects are vital to building resilient systems and ensuring companies stay compliant with stringent security laws. Again, Chief Information Security Officers as well represent the pinnacle of the cybersecurity profession. Now, CISO in the UK can expect to earn between 100,000 and 300,000 pounds annually, with salaries in London closer to 250,000 pounds, especially within the finance and technology sectors. In larger financial institutions or multinational corporations, CISOs can command even higher compensation packages, and this further reflects the critical importance of this role in safeguarding organization from high-level security threats. One of the key drivers of increased salaries in the UK is the regulatory environment. Okay? The introduction of GDPR in 2018 forced companies to rethink their cybersecurity strategies as non-compliance could result in fines as high as £20 million or 4% of a company's annual revenue, whichever is higher. Now, this regulatory pressure has led to an increase in hiring for the roles that are related to compliance, risk management, and incident response. 
For example, financial institutions in London have increased their cybersecurity budget by 30% with a strong focus in data protection rules. While London is undoubtedly the epicenter of cybersecurity in the UK, now cities like Manchester and Bristol are quickly emerging as alternative hubs for cybersecurity talents as well. Now, salaries in these cities are competitive with the added benefit of a lower cost of living compared to London. For instance, a cybersecurity architect in Manchester could earn around £80,000, which provides a higher standard of living compared to someone earning £100,000 in London due to lower housing and transportation costs. Now, let's turn to Canada, where the cybersecurity market is quietly but rapidly gaining momentum. While salaries may not yet match those in the US or UK, the growth trajectory is strong and the demand for cybersecurity professionals is increasing every year. In Canada, cybersecurity analysts are earning between 80,000 to 100,000 Canadian dollars per year. Salaries are highest in major cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, okay? where the demand for cybersecurity professionals is particularly strong due to concentration of tech companies and financial institutions. This steady rise in demand for cybersecurity experts reflects the increasing need for stronger defenses against cyber threats. Now, for pen testers, salaries typically range from 90,000 to 120,000 Canadian dollars depending on experience and geographic location. Pen testers with advanced certifications like OSCP are highly sought after in Canada's growing tech sector, particularly in cities with a robust technology ecosystems like Toronto and Vancouver. Also, security architects in Canada are earning between 120,000 and 150,000 Canadian dollars. However, top professionals, especially those specializing in cloud security, are surpassing these figures. As Canadian companies increasingly migrate their operations to the cloud, security architects have become essential to ensuring secure infrastructure. And this also leads to higher compensation, particularly in tech ops. At the top of the field is Chief Information Security Officer. And this role in Canada earns between 150 to 300,000 Canadian dollars annually particularly within high-stakes industries such as finance, technology, and healthcare. Now, let's talk about larger organizations. Larger organizations in major urban centers, especially within sectors handling sensitive data, tend to offer salaries at the higher end of this range. So, as small companies move their operations to the cloud, cloud security and DevSecOps are emerging as two of the hottest fields in Canadian cybersecurity. For example, RBC, which is Royal Bank of Canada, and Scotia Bank have significantly increased their cybersecurity budget, focusing on securing cloud infrastructures and implementing secure DevOps practices. Professionals in these fields can expect salaries in the upper range of 120,000 Canadian dollars per year, particularly in tech corps again like Toronto and Vancouver. Now that we know what's obtainable salary-wise based on where you are, what skills will help you land those six-figure cybersecurity salaries before the end of 2024? Cloud security is definitely a good place to start. As companies increasingly transition their operations to the cloud, cloud security professionals have become invaluable. Expertise in platforms such as AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud is in high demand. As securing cloud infrastructure now is a big part of protecting sensitive data and maintaining business operations. Salaries for cloud security experts are reflective of this crucial role, with top professionals in major tech ops commanding significant compensation for their ability to safeguard cloud environment from emerging threats. Another one that is worth noting is AI and machine learning. Now, the importance of these technologies in cybersecurity is growing rapidly. As cyber threat become more sophisticated, AI and machine learning are being deployed to detect and prevent attacks in real time. Professionals that are skilled in applying these technologies are commanding premium salaries across all regions, as their expertise is key 
to staying ahead of increasingly advanced cyber threats. For penetration testing and ethical hacking, the growing emphasis on proactive security measures has resulted in pen testers and ethical hackers becoming some of the highest earners in the cybersecurity industry. Certifications like OSCP, CH, and CSSP are particularly valuable that help professionals stand out and also land higher pay roles in companies that prioritize security, testing, and prevention. As the frequency and severity of cyber breaches rise to incident response and forensics professionals are becoming more essential. These roles are critical for identifying breaches, mitigating damage, and understanding the root causes of attacks. And companies are willing to offer competitive salaries for professionals with specialized skills in incident response and forensics. And what that simply means is that they recognize the crucial role they play in minimizing the impact of cyber incident. So the question now is, where do you fit into this growing field? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself going? Where do you see yourself growing? Where do you see your personality fitting in? Whether you're just starting out looking to advance your career, the coming years is shaping up to be an incredible one for cybersecurity professionals. The salaries are higher than ever, and the demand for skilled professionals is showing no signs of slowing down. However, you need to be prepared. Invest in the right skills get certified and stay up to date with the latest trends the more specialized your skills the more you can earn and as we've seen those six-figure salaries are not just reserved for executives anymore they are attainable for anyone willing to put in the work and develop the right expertise so like i used to say if you found this video helpful be sure to subscribe and share and remember cyber security isn't just a job it's a career with limitless potential. I hope I've been able to leave you better than I found you. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video. Bye for now.